God set you apart from the moment he created you, made you be a beacon of light in this dark world. Have you realized that you walk in a place and people see you are not ordinary? You give hope to everyone. You have the mark of God on your head. God called you to live a life different from the world because you are not to blend in among the thorns, but to stand out differently than the rest of the world. You, as one created by God, have been called to be set apart and be holy as God is holy. You don't gain approval from the world. You do not follow trends because you are the trendsetter. You are the leader. You have a divine purpose. You have been set apart to show the love of God. So you stand out and live in a way that glorifies God. You are a core cool member of God's family. He has chosen you to do his work here on earth. Through God, you are given an intended purpose to fulfill God's will for his kingdom. It's not easy. You have to work hard and persevere. As you face storms, know that you have been called out from many into fellowship with God. He is ready and willing to reveal his purpose to you. Instead of conforming to the world, you are called to submit to the rules of the one who made you. Your conduct and behavior should be a reflection of your divine calling. The Spirit of God works within you, changing your heart so that you live like you are indeed marked different than those that remain in the world. In all this, you must have the courage to stand out. The choices you make are a reflection of your faith in God. Your action determines if you truly understand that you are mad. God will help you to stand out of your comfort zone. It will help you see the greater purpose He has called you to. God has His hand on you for a particular purpose. He'll use other people, dreams, visions, and that still small voice to get you on track. To be marked by God for a particular purpose, He guides our lives differently than you might have had. You not submitted to his call because he has set you apart you are already walking into your destiny walking on your different path you will feel a pull away from people and things that distract you but that's progress even though we may feel as if we are putting on a shelf and forgotten we have been set apart for the call of god in our lives it is during these times that we will find ourselves spending quality time with God as He molds and makes us into His image. He will build character in us so that when it is time to go on to the front lines, He knows we will be ready. He can trust us with what He appoints us for us to do. As it is said, come out from among them and be ye separate. God has chosen you to work for Him. And you need to be set apart, determined to do the work for the king. He has anointed you and equipped you to be used for the advancement of his kingdom. You are made to be wholly consecrated to him. You are given a unique role in life to serve him. You are a stranger to this world system. Instead of thinking and acting like the world, you are set apart from this more common way of viewing and live in life and are given a different purpose. You could say that we are separated from wilderness and given a new purpose to be used by God. If you are set apart to do the work of the Lord, then you will not have time to get into trouble, especially if you place your heart on pleasing Him. You see, setting apart would mean forgetting sometimes the most things that you think you love. Sometimes it has to be leaving even your beloved family. Sometimes setting apart is getting out of that thing that you thought was formerly your course to follow. But then you will know deep down in your heart that that setting apart is always the right way even when those things seem to pull you back. You must realize that 
been set apart means a moment of contradiction with other people's belief. You will contend with those that thought you are going wrong and some would actually come out and tell you to your face that you're missing the part. But if you know and you confirm that you know that that which you have been pulled to has to do with your destiny, you will endure the scorning, the jeering, and of course the outright condemnation by those you so much love. Being set apart does not mean being loved by everybody. You know the story of Joseph, where the moment he dreamt a dream and had to explain that he had that dream that made him set apart, he began from that day to become an enemy, not only to him, and of course even to his family members. And even when he got to the land of Egypt, consistently being set apart can mean that trouble upon trouble will come your way. You see, it's always a trying period. It can be a lonely moment. It can always be that time that it looks as if when you speak, heaven is brass and the ground would not sprout out and give you its own yielding. Just know that most of these times, the mighty one that has called you to that setting apart knows exactly what he is doing because you are developing that thick skin of being alone in order for you to be for all. Being set apart is not always forever, but it is for the purpose of the betterment and the goodness of the overall. Know this fact and know it for a truth that you're being set apart. It's always going to be for nations. Hardly would one be set apart for himself and to himself alone because you are always supposed to be a separate one. You see, I always want to compare being set apart with the way the plant or the palm tree grows. When the seed is planted, it doesn't come out in one day. Neither does it come out in one week or one month or one year or two years. It takes years because it first off goes downwards, dies and goes to the root before it springs up. But then when it begins to grow, every part of it becomes so important to humanity. Look at the palm tree, there is never a part of it that is ever useless. So it is with those that are being set apart and that it is it with you. You are set apart first to die and then you come out a new you to become useful in every ramification that when you speak, your word becomes important when you, ref you reflex any of the action would be interpreted to the benefit of the world. Those that are set apart are never many. They are always few from the majority. See yourself as such and stay within the purview of that which you are called. God bless you.